All right, in this video, I want to correct um, something that I uh, made a mistake on last time and clarify about the types of columns uh, that we will have in Geo uh, Pandas data frames. And so what I have here is something very similar to last time. I'm importing Geo Pandas. Let me make this a little bit larger for you. Um, I'm reading in that low resolution world map as before. First, I get the path, and then I read it in. And then here I'm plotting it. And um, in addition to plotting a geo a data frame, I can also just look at it like a regular data frame and see all the columns. And in any um, geo pandas data frame uh, where I have this special column, uh, which is often named geometry, but uh, the geometry column can have another name as well. And that is going to be a geo series that contains a bunch of information about the different shapes that are being drawn, um, in this case, different countries. And, um, and we can add other columns that contain this information as well, but the rule that wasn't very, I didn't really make it clear last time, uh, is that we can only have one of these being a geo series. So let me, let me show you what this looks like if I want to add another column. So last time I saw that we had this thing called centroid uh, that I can look up for a geo series, right? So if I look at geometry, maybe let me just do this first. Oops. Okay, so there I have a geo series, and I can get the centroids, right, which are the centers um, of all those different shapes. And uh, let me just check what the type of this is, right? So I'm going to put off this type, like so, and that's a geo series. Um, in the same way that, oh, let me grab that, just like, just like that column itself is, right? So both of these are geo series. Uh, but, but here's the problem. When I add a new column to the data, right, so let's say I say something like centers equals this thing, which I know to be a geo series. Right, so I add that, and maybe I'll print the type of that thing. All right, so I'm going to add this. What, what print, so what is the type of this new centers column? You see that even though I'm adding this geo series to the data frame, after I add it, it's no longer a geo series. It's just a regular series because data frames aren't allowed to have multiple geo series, right? And if I look at world.head like so, uh, you can see that, hey, it contains a bunch of geometric information, but not te technically a geo series right now. And so the problem I ran into last time is that I was trying to do that. So I was trying to say something like world uh, geometry dot plot. And, um, and and maybe let me just fix up the colors on that. Maybe I will say uh, fig size equals um, 1212, and maybe the color will be a light gray color. So I had something like that. And then I was trying to draw the cities, well, not the cities, but the centers of each country on top of that. So I was doing this. I was trying to say something like world. Let me head back up here, right? So I plotted this here. That's default, right? When I uh, when I pull that out, I'm plotting that geo series. When I try to plot these centers on top of that dot plot, and um, and I guess here I want to plot on top, so I have to grab ax. So I'm going to say ax equals that. Then here I say ax. Um, I was trying to do that, and I was getting this error, right? Because um, it's no longer uh, geometric data. So what I have to do is before I can plot this column. I have to change, um, at least temporarily, I have to change the geometry column uh, from the one that's actually named geometry to the one that's named centers, right? So I can do that. I can say world uh, set geometry centers. This constructs a new data frame where this is the one I want. I can pull it out, and then I can plot that. And now I can get the center of each country, the centroid, um, drawn on top of uh, the country itself. All right, so sorry for the confusion last time. Hopefully that clears things up.